What's up everyone? Today we are going to see problem number 567, permutation in string. So given two strings, S1 and S2, we need to return true if S2 contains a permutation of S1. Otherwise, we need to return false. So in other words, there will be many permutations of S1, right? So we need to return true if at least my S2 contains one of those permutations of S1. Okay, now we will dive into the solution. So here I have a very simple example. So here the permutation of S1 will be AB and BA. And if my S2 contains one of these in my as a substring, okay, then I will return true. Okay. And we could see there is BA here, right? And also it should be continuous. It should be continuous. Okay, I should not have something like BEA, something in between that, that is irrelevant to my permutation. Okay, then I will return false. Okay. So these are my permutations of S1, permutations of S, S1, okay? And I need to check whether I have one of these permutation in my S2, which is nothing but I need to have a substring of the permutation of S1 in between my S2. And I'm going to solve this problem in order of n time and order of one space with a constant space okay now we will see the logic so here i have list for both s1 and s2 so this list will be of length of 26 okay so it we are creating 26 because we need to represent these characters right so i'm going to create 26 zeros like this so for simplicity i have kept it for till 4 here just to make the explanation simple i just limiting myself to 4 then i will be utilizing ascii codes okay each and every character will be having corresponding number okay for example a will be having 97 b will be having 98 okay so if I want to get the index of each and every character in my map that in my list, okay, I will use this ASCII codes to represent the index of my characters. For example, 98 minus 97 will give me one, right? So this nothing but it represents the index of character B, okay? Which is nothing but the character b okay so i will subtract all of my ascii code with ascii code of a okay in order to get its index so initially i'm going to pick the length of s1 okay so here the length of s1 is 2 right it's 2 so i'm going to write a for loop now I'm going to increment the first two characters both in my S1 and S2 and I'm going to increment that in my S1 map and S2 map. So first I will pick the first character in my S1 and S2. Okay, we have the first character in S1 is A. So I'm going to increment the 8th index which is nothing but the first index. I will be using the ASCII code to get this index, okay? I'm going to increment that index with one, okay? I mean the value. Then I'm going to pick C. C is nothing but the third index in S2 map. So I'm going to increment with one, then I will pick the second character in S1, which is nothing but B. I'm increment with one. Then the second character in S2 is B again. I'm going to increment that in the corresponding maps. Okay. 
here I will increment with one as well okay till here it's fine right so here I will run only for two characters since the length of s1 is 2 I'm going to run for two characters only so here I will be running a for loop based on s1 so I will be picking two characters in both my s1 and s2 I'm going to increase that particular character's value it's like a incre increasing the frequency of the character okay now I'm going to create a window okay that window will be based on s2 okay i'm going to pick the length of s2 minus the length of s1 will give me an window here it's 4 right the length of s2 is 4 minus 2 okay 2 is which is nothing but length of s1 I'm going to get 2 right so I will create a window for s2 now now from 0 to 2 in my s2 okay since it's 2 we need to search this window till the second index this 2 is because of this one okay so this calculation will give an upper bound upper bound of the window okay so from here from 0 to this upper bound I'm going to run another loop so I will use this window to update my s2 map now I will show how to utilize this window and update the s2 map okay so we are taking from 0 to 2 this 2 is which is what we found earlier so I'm going to run a for loop based on this window so I'm going to run a for loop from 0 to 2 okay that will be my range so initially I will pick the first character in s2 and I will go to my s2 map and I decrement that particular character's value okay here it will become zero then I will go to my last so I will be picking the first element and the last element simultaneously now the last element is a I will increment it by one so it's like shrinking shrinking this window now the window will become like this then within the for loop itself I will compare s2 map is equal to my s s1 map if both are equal I'm going to return true okay and another edge case is if my permutation of s1 is in the last window of s2 then I will return I will write a separate a return function to compare s1 map and s2 map at the end after running the loop okay so to get to the index of the particular character i will use a function called odd okay so i will show you guys in the code now let's see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so now let's see the code so first I will write an if statement I will check whether my length of s1 is greater than length of s2 right so if my length of s1 greater than my length of s2 I'm going to return false okay just an edge case now I'm going to create s1 map and s2 map with zeros of 26 length okay I'm going to create a s2 map with the length of 26 again then I'm going to run a for loop with the range of 
length of S1, which I discussed earlier. And I'm going to update my characters. Okay. I will be getting the ASCII values. Minus the ASCII value of A, which will give me the that particular character's ASCII value. All right. I'm going to update that with one. I'm going to increment that with one. And I'm also going to do that same thing in my S2. S2 of I. Then I'm going to subtract with the ASCII value of A. Both of them is A. So ASCII value of A. Okay. I'm going to increment that with one. Now again, I'm going to run another loop till the index that I discussed earlier. Okay, I'm going to get that index with length of S2 minus length of S1. Okay, then I'm going to write an if statement in between to check whether my S1 map is equal to my S2 map. If it is equal, I'm going to return true. Okay. Then I'm going to pick the first character in that window. Okay. And I'm going to minus that with my ASCII value of A. ASCII value of A. And I'm also going to pick the ASCII value of the first character in that window. Okay. Then I'm going to map that in my S2. Okay. I'm going to map this one in my S2 and I'm going to decrease it by 1. Now I need to pick the last character, right? In that window. So I will add the first character's index value with the length of S1. Okay. This will give me the last character in my S2. Okay. This will give me the last character in my S2. Then I will get the ASCII value. Then I will use S2 map to increment that particular character. To increment that particular character which I showed you guys earlier with one I will increase it by one so I will run this loop and I also discussed about the edge case right so if s2 contains the permutation of s1 at the end window then I need to check that 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 is an edge case so I need to check at the end whether my S2 map is equal to my S1 map. And if it is true, it's going to return true. If it's false, it's going to return false. And I think everything is fine. Now let's run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of one, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day guys.